What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So in a surprising move, we've seen the leaks. Tesla has actually just unveiled the new Tesla app. It is live. It's in the App Store right now for iPhones. I don't think it's quite live yet for Android phones, but it's coming. It is awesome. Here is a quick first look. We'll do a little walkthrough of the app. I don't have solar, so I can't give you a direct breakdown of that aspect, but there is a ton of tweaks. Let's jump right into it. All right, so here we go. Once you actually download it, I'm gonna actually show you what the update says first. You can see this is version 4.0. It's a hefty update at almost 300 megabytes. It tells you right off the bat, there's a refreshed vehicle and energy homepages, streamlined summon experience, enhanced phone key support, and this was huge for me. I've been having an issue since we uh, picked up our new Model S and have our Model 3. We had to keep selecting between the vehicles to enable the phone key. Now you have that enhanced phone key support where you don't need to select a vehicle anymore. It'll automatically work with what you're closest to. Also, you can see you have new options to send commands to the vehicle immediately upon opening the app. You can use go off grid to seam seamlessly disconnect your home from the grid with the Powerwall. You can shop directly in the app for Tesla's category or catalog and view and manage your orders, view supercharging history, and you can actually change your payment method and pay your outstanding supercharging or service balance. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And yeah, here it is. Uh, it's exactly what the leaks look like. It is awesome. So like I was saying, I do have two vehicles here. Falcon 9 is our Model S. And if you swipe over, you can see we have Sandy Acre, which is our Model 3. And it is just a lot cleaner of an interface. You can still select controls and you get that new look for your vehicle. Open your front trunk, unlock the car, unlock the charging port. And you have your traditional controls at the bottom here. Moving from there, you're going to want to then check out climate. And here's where you will activate the climate controls as well as your seat heaters obviously in our three we only have the two front seats that are heated the rear is not so you don't see those squiggly bacons as an option here you get your interior and exterior temperature the option to turn it on and vent the windows coming out of there you obviously have your location you have summon you have security, which shows you what phone key is connected. And you can see here, my iPhone is actually currently connected to the vehicle. You have your, your valet mode still and your speed limit mode. You have your upgrade area where you can purchase software upgrades. And obviously all we have available is our rear seat heated seats. You can have your subscription options if you need anything. We actually currently have all our subscribe options. Here's your new accessory center that takes you right into the exact vehicle you have selected and you can see exactly what accessories are available. It is very clean and I really do like it. This is going to be a huge boost to um, what used to be the Shop Tesla area of their website. So you can just jump right into interior items, check everything out right here, and simply add something to your cart. And just like that, you can jump in your cart, use Apple Pay, however you want to pay, and check right out. So we'll go ahead and delete this. And you're back where you came from. So very, very neat how they integrated that right into the app now. Beyond that, you obviously still have your service. And you can schedule your service, take a look at your history, see video guides, check out roadside. If you need roadside assistance, same thing as it was prior, just with a little different look. Beyond all this, you can select your profile picture. You can see both vehicles and their state of charge. Check out Tesla shop right here as well. You can check out your inbox for whatever messages you might've had, your loop box, your account, settings, and sign out if you need. Actually, one call out, let me go back to settings, is you have your option for notifications to get them for any vehicle 
or just one or the other. That comes in handy, uh, as well as obviously your charging and security and your software updates. Coming out of this, obviously, like I said, you swipe over and you have all of your other options for your other vehicles right here. I don't have full self-driving in this vehicle and any of that, so I can click on it, add it here still, or subscribe. Same way you could prior, but with a much nicer looking interface. So you're going to see a lot of this is actually blurred out. I apologize, just due to the address being shown. So beyond all of that, though, I really think it's a great vehicle. You have your shortcuts right here for lock, unlock, you know, turn on your AC, charging. You can adjust your actual amount of charge right here by clicking on the charging icon and obviously open your frunk as you could before. So what do you guys think about this new update? Are you a fan? Is this something you're going to use? Do you like this new look over what the old one was? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to use that referral code. It's down there as well to get those free thousand supercharging miles. And it's exciting. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.